Why are there three and even four pilots on some international flights? Well, back in the early days of international flying, when the 707 was first introduced uh, to the system and flying from London back to New York or someplace in the U.S., 707 actually had five people, five counting people up in the cockpit. There was a captain, there was a co-pilot, there was a flight engineer to run all the panels and all the other stuff back there. There was a navigator and there was a radio operator. There were five people up in the cockpit. Now we're down to just two with one extra, the relief officer. Why is that person there? So that the, all the pilots can get a break. Now think about it. If you're flying for eight hours or more, uh, that's a long day. You don't get to get up out of your seat and just go walk around or take a break. You got to be in your seat the whole time. You're working the entire time. And you're many times going five, six, seven, eight time zones away, spending just 24 hours in turning around and coming back. It's exceedingly fatiguing. I deal with jet lag all of the time. If I didn't get a break during that eight hour shift going over and coming back, I'm not sure I could do it four or five times a month. I'm not sure how I do it now, but I do. And that relief officer, that third pilot makes all the difference in the world. That's why there's a third pilot on most international flights. Now, you know, I'm Captain Steve. Fly safe. Wait, don't go yet. Do me a favor. Become Captain Steve's new best friend. Hit the like button, uh, share, and subscribe.